this video, you're going to learn one of the most useful things you will learn from me all semester. If you don't already know this, this is a super essential, totally valuable, incredibly valuable skill for you to have as a student, and it's knowing how to calculate your grade in any class. Why is that important? Because if you know where you stand in every class, if you know your grade in every class, you are then able to adjust the effort that you put into all of your classes so that you can put your effort into the right place to maximize your grades in all of your classes. What am I talking about? Let's say I was taking a couple of classes and I had A's in all of the classes and I had a C, a high C in another class. Well, if I had one class with a really high A and one class with a, a high C, I would back off my effort on that class where I was, had the high A and I'd put more effort into the class where I had the C to bring it up to a B. Right, so if I have a class with a high A, I could I could I could back off the effort a little bit if I've got a high A already in the class. And if I have a class that's just almost a B, I need to put in a little bit more effort so I could get over that hurdle and make sure I get a B in the class. And by doing that, by being able to adjust the effort that you put into each of your classes, by being able to see where you stand in each of your classes, and then being able to adjust how much effort you put into your classes, you're able to get the grades you want in all of your classes because you're able to modulate how much effort you put into which class when to make sure you get the right grades you want in each of your classes. A really important trick that I learned when I was in grad school. What are we going to do? We are going to learn how to calculate your grade in any class, in any class. And the first place you start with that is with a syllabus. And there's something important you need to know about how classes are structured. There are two ways, two ways that a teacher can structure their class when it comes to calculating the grades for students. One way is using the point-based method, the point-based method. Another way is using the percentage, the percentage-based method. So there's two ways that a class can be structured. It could be using the point-based method or it could be using the percentage-based method. What does the point-based method look like? The point-based method looks something like this, right? where you have quizzes, you have lab performance, you have the final. So here's an example class. And on the quizzes, it looks like there'll be one quiz worth 10 points, 10 quizzes worth 15 points. And when you do the math on that, that's 160 total points. Here you have 20 labs, 20 labs, no, 10 labs worth 20 points each for a total of 200 points. And the final is worth 100 points. When you add 160, 200, and 100, you get 460. So there's 460 total points possible in this course. And then, Calculating your grade in that class is as easy as taking the total points possible, 460 points, and then how many points did I earn? Let's say I earned 350 points, right? So my grade in the class would be equal to the points I earned divided by the total points possible multiplied by 100. 100. There we go. And my grade would be 76%. I have earned 76% of 460 for a total of 350 points. I've earned 350 points in the course. If I'd earned 400 points in the course, I would have an 86.95% in the class. If I'd earned 325 points, or you know, uh, let's say 390 or 370, I'm looking for that high C, or 365, right? If I earned 365 points in this class, I know that I just need to push it a little bit more to get my B. You know, and maybe I'll say, forget going for the A is too far away. Or I could even say, how far do I have to go to get the A? If I had 420 points, that's it. 410? Uh, no. 415? I need 415 points to get an A in this class out of the 460 points that are possible. So that's the basics of calculating your grade using the points method. There are other examples of points method. So here's another one, right? Points method. And, uh, you know, that's, that's how you do it with the points method. In our class, we don't use the points method. We use the percentage method. The way the percentage method works is there are categories, right? So we have the assignments category. We have discussions or participation category, depending upon whether or not you are in my online class. You've got discussions or participations for my class that meets in the classroom. We have the quizzes category and we have the final category. And each of these categories are worth a percent of the overall total whole of your grade in this class. So assignments are worth 50% of your grade in my class, right? Everything that is in assignments, that's worth 50% of the grade of the class. This is worth 20% of the grade, whoops. This is worth 20% of the grade, 
whoops, <laughs> this is worth 20% of your grade in the class. This is worth 20% of your grade in the class. This is worth 10% of your grade in the class. Using the percentage method, all of the percentages of each of the categories needs to add up to 100%. 100% needs to add up to 100%. We use the percentage method. So how do you calculate that grade using a spreadsheet? Coming over here to spreadsheets, you can see I have it all set up already. If you're really good with computers, if you're really fast with computers, I'm going to go to View, All Formulas. And you can see all of the formulas that are here right now. So you could pause your video, and you could uh, just start recreating this. And there's one little tool to help you before you pause your video. Make sure you come over to Blackboard, click on Assignments, Scroll down to the your grade assignment, and there's this file to help you. Click on this file to help you. And so all these things right here, right, are already typed out for you. So you could just highlight them and then copy them and then come over here and paste them so you don't have to type them all in. You might notice if you're watching this in a semester that's, you know, different from the semester in which I'm creating this, you might notice that maybe I've removed one of these categories or added one of these assignments or added an assignment in. And that's just the way classes go. They change and evolve with time. So there might be a few little changes that you need to make, or I might have already made them to this list. Or if I haven't, you might email me and say, hey, add these things into the assignments or take this part out of the assignment so when we copy and paste it over, it's all accurate. If you notice any inaccuracies, just let me know and I will update this sheet here, which you get from clicking on the link at your grade. This file is here to help you. Right, so you could copy all that over here, get all those categories, and then you could just create this. So if you're good with computers, pause the video now. Here are all your formulas. Here are all the categories. Make sure you do this color coding. Make sure you do the X credit. Make sure you get the total sum here of everything up above. If you know what's going on, then great. Go ahead and get to it. If you don't know what's going on, we are going to create this right now, starting now. How do we do it? First thing is we want to copy all of the things from here right? This file here with all the listings, we want to copy them over and put them into these columns. How do we do that? Just one example for you. Highlight the quizzes, right click, choose copy, come over here, and if I was recreating the spreadsheet, quizzes go right here. This is column F, and this is row one, so I'm going to put them into spot F1. I'm going to create a new sheet, so I could duplicate this. I'm going to go to F1, right click, choose paste, and there I got all those quizzes in there. Right, well, cool. I got F1, all the quizzes there. F1, all the quizzes there. And you'll notice that the quizzes are all yellow. And at the bottom, there's this average thing. So I'm going to come down here and type in average. Just click and type. And then I'm going to highlight all of this right here. I'm going to go up here and I'm going to make them all yellow. Not only that, I'm going to click the letter G to select the entire G column. Come over here and hit the percent sign to format this entire column as percentages. And now I can hit enter my scores, whatever they happen to be, right? And make sure you do not leave any of these uh, uh, cells empty. Otherwise, you will not get the correct calculation for your average right there. How do you enter your average formula? You come up here and you choose this little thing right there. You make sure you're in the correct cell. I'm in the correct cell there. That's where I want to calculate the average of all these numbers up above it so I can find out the average that I got on all my quizzes. I come here. I choose average, and that's there's one more step. That's not the final step. You can see average right there, but it's just two parentheses with nothing in the middle. I need to now click the numbers I want to, and click and drag, click, drag, and highlight over the numbers I want to calculate the average on. And then finally, when they're all highlighted, at that point, release your mouse button. And you can see here, it says it's going to calculate the average on G1 colon G16. What the heck's that mean? Well, you are in column G. And that's row one. So G1 is this cell right there. And that colon means through in spreadsheet speak. So it's calculating the average on cell G1 through G16. And there's G16. So that will give me the correct average. I can hit enter and ba da da dum. Drum roll, please. It is hopefully calculating. Oh, you know what I'm doing wrong? I need to go to view and take off all formulas. There we go. Hallelujah. So that is what you need to do. We just did it for quizzes. You need to do that for all of your assignments. And then you also need to do that for your discussions. Or if you're in my classroom class, instead of discussions, you're going to copy over here your attendance, your participation. 
And then over here for the final, you do not enter, if we go back to view all formulas, you just enter the score right there that you got on the final. And you come over here for your extra credit, and you just enter the scores you got on the extra credit. We're not calculating an average for the final because there's only one item. And for each of these things, this isn't a category where we want to find the average of all of our extra credit. We just want to know the score we got on each possible extra credit assignment. So now that, now that we have all these things over here on the right setup, what we now need to do is we need to enter our formulas right here. We need to enter these formulas. And what are these formulas doing over here? These formulas, if we have a, a you know, basically what this is our grade right here, right, in the class. This is from the syllabus. So assignments, that category is worth 50%. Quizzes, quizzes are worth 20%. Discussions, participation, 20%. Final, 10%. That's what each category is worth. We want to know what percentage of each category we earn, right? So if I go back to view and hide the formulas, and if I had 100%, in this category, so I had nothing but hundreds for my assignments, I would have earned all 100% of that 50%. Does that make sense? So I could, you know, 50% of my grade is based upon assignments. So if I aced all the assignments, then I earned all 50% of that category, you know, for my grade. If I only got like, you know, part of, uh, part of assignments, you know, done, I didn't earn 100% of all of my assignments, so I only earned 17.65% on my assignments, that's my average for all of my assignments, then I would have only earned 17.65% of this 50%, right? Because that 50%, and the 50% of my grade is based upon how I did on my assignments, and I earned 17.65% of that 50%. Mathematically, the way you do that is equal, you type in the equal sign, equal, and you click on what, what did I earn here, right? E35. And you multiply it by, whoops, escape. Let me do it where we're not here in all formulas. The way you earn that is I'm going to delete that formula, hit delete. I'm going to hit the equal sign, right? So equal to whatever I earned on this uh, as my average. So I click on that cell right there, and it puts in the cell reference, E35. And I multiply that by whatever percentage, uh, you know, that is worth towards my overall grade. And then I hit enter, and it calculates it. So if we view all formulas again, we could see those calculations right here and what they should look like. And again, make sure that like, okay, E, and that is 35. That's where my average is. E35 times B1. Okay, that's correct. Cool. So that's how we do these. So do each of those right there. And you do that for your discussions or participation. You do it for your quizzes. You do it for the final. Whatever you got on the final times 10%. That's what goes towards your grade. And then uh, you want to make sure that you do this for extra credit here. So if I got 0% on Google search, right, 0% on Google search, then I earned 0% of 10% extra credit. So I didn't earn any, to, any extra credit there. If I got 100% on Project Do Good, then I earned 100% of this 5%, which is 5%. So I, I figure out what I got for each of the extra credit assignments, and these are the formulas for that, right, right there. And the way I enter that formula would be, let me get rid of that one. So it would be equal to whatever I got on do good. So there's what I got on do good times whatever that's worth. The last thing we need to do is we need to sum up all of these individual parts right here. Uh, so if I look at my formulas, I can see I'm just summing up C cell C1 through cell C10. So here's column C, and there's row 1. So C1 is right there, and through C10 is right there. So I'm summing all of that up. How do I enter that formula? I'm going to delete this formula here. Start by going over to where my formulas are and choose sum. And then I'm going to click up on that first cell and drag through this cell, and then press Enter. And there we go. How do you turn in your grade? How do you turn in your grade? Well, before I say that, let me just make sure you understand what's going on here, right? This is everything I've earned in, in towards my grade. Here's the X credit. I add all that up. There's my total grade. Okay. How do you turn in your grade? You go to view all formulas so that all these formulas are showing. If you need to adjust the width of any of these columns so that they show, make sure you adjust the width of that column so I can see the formulas. And uh, once you've done that, you start your snipping tool. You take a snip of it, 
You save it. So I'm going to save it as my grade on my desktop. And then you go to Blackboard. And click on your grade. <clears throat> and uh, so I'm uploading for your grade. Browse my computer. There it is. And hit Submit. That's how you'd submit your grade so that when you send it in, it's looking like that. I can see the formulas. Very good. Have fun with this assignment and congratulations on learning one of the most important skills you can know as a student for getting better grades in all of your classes.